Yeah, what's good, y'all? It's your boy. I'm back. Uh, I want to thank y'all for coming through to the video. Today, we're here to talk about the NBA 2K23 patch notes. Now, I know you guys are probably looking at the title and like, already shaking y'all head. Already getting y'all comment fingers ready. Because I'm not going to lie. When I dropped my NBA 2K24 wishlist video, I did not expect that much of a turnout in the comment section the way y'all was going crazy. But today, it feels like it's one of those type of videos. Now, not only will we be talking about NBA 2K23's patch for Season 7 coming up, but we'll also speculate about a few rewards that need to come to the game, as well as the state of the game, because... There's a lot of people on social media right now, like I'm talking about like right now, while I'm recording this video, people are on social media, like pushing narratives and it's kind of crazy, but at the same time, I understand why narratives are pushed because everybody has a reason for the things that they do, but I want to let y'all know what my narrative is and what I'm pushing. So let's go ahead and talk about this season seven patch as well as the state of the game. Let's get it. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong. Now, first things first, it is currently May 16th, 2023. For everybody who wants NBA 2K23 to reach a new height, I'm sorry to say it won't. And the reason for that is this game has been out since September. It is now May. The next iteration of the NBA 2K series is already in development, if you didn't know. So around January, February time, they tend to start writing things down or even implementing things into action on the new iteration of the video game, which means development, mocap, rosters, uh, gameplay, plays, lighting, Graphic design, like the whole shebang of NBA 2K24 is currently being literally balled up right now. And they are trying to figure out where they want to shoot that at. So for NBA 2 k 23s sake, they are listening to the community, trying to figure out what's wrong with the game, find what's wrong with the game, fix it without breaking something else. That's what devs do. They literally work on video games all year long and still have to make new games because they're on a yearly cycle. Now it's a lot of work for them for sure. And us as consumers, sometimes we get a little crazy um, for whatever reason. And I'm going to be honest, I live under a rock. I did not know that there's so many people that have a problem with the game. Like, like chat. Listen, I know you in the comment section like, iPod, you want some old head shit? This is what I be talking about. What's going on with you? T t tell us your thoughts. Listen, let me be clear. Everybody that I know that played 2K for the last five plus years have been stepping away from it simply because they don't find it fun anymore. And I can't disagree with them on that because sometimes when I'm sitting playing a game, sometimes I don't find it fun either. Now, that does not mean that there's potentially something wrong with the game or that the game is, you know, quotation marks, you know, the, the, the five letter word or the four letter word, you know, one starts with a D, one starts with a T, you know, I, I, I'm not saying that the game is that. What I'm saying is we're losing our player base. Now, if we're losing our player base, that means that the people who are currently playing the game can't be having as much fun as they used to on the game when they had their friends there playing with them. Let me give you a bright example before I hop into the patch notes. Y'all know, sales squad shit. I haven't seen Trey on the game, haven't seen Raunchy on the game, haven't gotten Chase on the game, haven't played with Ricky in ages. Ken is the only person that I've played with in the last month. No, let's make it two. Ah, I'll push it to three. And the crazy thing is, when I'm playing a game, it's competitive the entire time, which means 
I am no longer loading up NBA 2K23 to go to the park, have fun with my friends, or anything like that. I am loading up NBA 2K23, going to the, you know, daily task tab, the season task tab, and loading up into certain modes and to play competitive basketball every single time I play in order to reach an undestined goal, which is maybe legend or maybe level 40. But whatever it is, I'm now I'm no longer loading up the game with a smile on my face. I'm loading up the game in dog mode. Like I'm about to lock in for a couple hours, hit these levels and keep this shit moving. Or I'm loading up the game like, damn, I'm level 39, but I got to hit 40 and it's two days left in the season. That type time. So for everybody out there who has been pushing certain narratives on social media and Reddit posts and Twitter feeds, threads, spaces, lives, like everything. I've actually taken the time out in the last month to learn more about the state of the community as far as its views on 2K. And I'm here to say, I feel for y'all. <laughs> because I'm not going to lie, before I hop into these patch notes, some of the shit that I've been seeing online about 2K is hilarious. But at the same time, I've never thought that our energy could be shifted so much watching the video game. Like, there's literally talk about... Whew, I don't even want to talk. Y'all go ahead. Listen, if that's something that you want to go find, like the bad things that people say about video games, y'all y'all go ahead and go find that online. But you ain't really going to find it here, bro. You know what's crazy? I've been having fun being a consumer and only a consumer. One with, you know, not having to worry about to be super opinionated, um, super stressed out about the Like, I go to bed happy at night. Why a lot of you dudes, boy, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, boy, y'all be sick. Yo, yo, li listen, if somebody last tweet is a hateful tweet before bedtime, bro, I ain't gonna lie, you need therapy, bro. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you <laughs> need therapy, but listen, patch seven. Wow, what a what a thing to say. Patch seven. They've 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 literally put their all into this game. They they put their all into this game so much that they've gotten to a place and and what I'm talking about is 2K here is they've gotten to a place where they find a certain significant problem and they patch it, but. One thing that they don't do, which I have been praying the 2K gods for, is to be transparent with said problem. Now, of course, when a when a big, 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 huge problem persists, 2K most of the time, you know, with their ticket system and support system and stuff like that on Twitter, are always vocal about, you know, what the issue is, how things are being fixed and stuff like that. But for some things I've seen replies in, in, in on Twitter, this, this is what I'm talking about on Twitter. I've seen replies saying, thank God, this is finally fixed. And instead of me, you know, making things public, I'll DM the person and say, yo, how long was this issue going on for, for you and 2k? Some people would say a month. Some people would say two months, but nobody ever said anything like three months or more as far as the problem. Think about it. The game only been out for September. So most of the things that 2K has fixed, you know, those problems, you know, each patch, people be like, oh, thank God this is done. This, thank, thank goodness. Sometimes you only got to go six weeks with the issue. You know what I'm saying? So I've never seen 2K wait three months to fix something. Now, as far as these patches go, Preparations for NBA 2K23 Season 7 launching on Friday, May 19th. God damn it, I got three days to hit 40. <clears throat> Stay tuned for what we have in store. New WNBA uniform sponsor patches for the 2023 season have been added. 
the following players have general likeness updates and adjustments made um cool let's move down to my career right so this is probably the least amount of patches that i've seen you know each season by season most of the time this top line is always put Continued improvements to performance and stability have been made to enhance the overall experience in the city. Now, for Rec and Pro-Am games, they say that there was an issue that caused an errant screen wipe to occur during gameplay. Now, I know exactly what they're talking about. When waiting... What's up? Want to be in my video? Me on a whole lot, bro. All right, so like I was saying, chat... Um, resolve the issue with the Wreck and Pro End games that caused the errant screen wipe um, to occur during gameplay. Um, and they addressed an issue where Blackout Bingo cards could have spots with no objectives. Now, I've never played Blackout Bingo, so I don't know what that issue was. But I did ask somebody and they said in the last event, they did have that issue. But they hope that, you know, this issue will be fixed, you know, for the next one. All right. Now, as far as my team goes, I don't really play my team, so I can't speak on it at all um i do see that they say they fixed a rare hang that could occur when two player cards from the same pack receive walkout reveals i i don't even know what that means um i haven't played my team in a very long time so yeah um my nba um slash the w um continued stability fixes and improvements have been made for my nba my nba online and the w um it says fix the logic issue preventing playoff progression from occurring when the start today in my NBA. Now, that right there, that logic issue, I DM somebody about that. And they said that they have that issue for like a month, month and a half. And they, they were one of the people that was like, finally, this is fixed. So with that being said, that is all of the patches leading up to season seven. Now, let's talk about what 2K needs to do in order to bring back some of its player base from NBA 2K23 next gen. Mascots! Yes. Yes, 2K. It is time. Y'all need to bring in mascots. I'm talking about the NBA ones. You need to bring the mascots in, bro. It's time, man. We we tired of waiting, man. We we love the intergalactic, you know, updates and stuff like that. Like all of these different things that you guys are trying to do. Medieval, all different kinds of stuff, right? But we are playing a basketball game and we do love the mascots. Like I love my Jabberwocky. It allows me to wear my um fast running shoes, my dash two Ks. I can wear those under my Jabberwocky outfit and actually not have to wear those dash two K shoes on my feet. It looks like I'm running around fast as hell in some Jordan ones. I love it. Don't fix that. Please don't fix that. Thank you. Um, but as far as the mascot goes, that are that is the mascots that we're waiting on like we're waiting on the nba team specific mascots and in all honesty 2k i'm gonna be real that should have been in the game first week some things just need to be put in the game to make people want to play the game when it first dropped like waiting in the anticipation is good and all but sometimes you have to be more transparent with people because when you're not transparent People get bored quickly. If you don't have a press drop or a social media push for content that's coming out weeks in advance, people get really bored. I know six weeks seems quick, but that's a month and a half of gameplay time, which means in a month and a half, people can be burnt out from playing part, don't want to play wreck. Some people be burnt out playing wreck, don't want to play part. So it's up to you guys to keep coming out with constant content to keep us engaged in the video game that we're playing and some having fun with, some liking to grind, and some playing with their friends. Now, before I end this video, I want I want y'all to say hi to Zebo. Um, hey Zebo, say hi. Get off my yeah, there you go. Say hi, dude. Say hi. You just gonna you just gonna purr. Okay, well, M. Sanzibo says hi. Um, you gonna get down or or, or no? You, okay, you gonna you gonna stay right there? Okay, me and him will play later. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. 
Um, I appreciate everybody who hit the like button. Make sure you guys hit that sub button. We are on our way to 700,000 subscribers. That's that's fire. You know what I'm saying? I'm back on it. I'm back on this YouTube stuff. Back on my news. Back on gameplay. Back on making vids. Oh, <laughs> also, shout out to everybody who used my IRL jump shot in NBA 2K23. I really appreciate y'all. Um, also, I might start playing basketball again. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got to go to my, uh, what they call it? My, is it orthopedic? It's it's one of them, but yeah, they got to check my elbows. I got arthritis in one elbow, and I got tennis elbow in the other. So, I'm getting old, but yeah, I love y'all. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Peace. You you just gonna jump down to be out again? King Kong, King Kong, King Kong. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, ah, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong.